You're listening to the GeekCast Radio Network. the geek in you. Welcome to a all new, all different, all special Altering Geekcast radio episode. This is a special crossover between Altered Geek or technically Project Altered Geek Entertainment. So we've taken a page There's out no of the entertainment. <laughs> well, I had to work in there with, to make it page because the rest of it just PAG, just, I don't know, it's whatever. Anyway, anyway, uh, I of course am TFG and Mike. As you heard, Steve Megatron is here. And we are heading to a galaxy far, far away with metal. That's right. Uh, I was bumming around on iTunes the other day, and uh, it was about, I don't know, day before my birthday a couple of weeks ago or so, and uh, uh, I was looking for songs that I'd been hearing on the radio, so I'm like, oh, I'm going to add these to my iTunes wish list and buy them, you know, 10 years from now when I actually have money. Uh, and in their most recent releases or most popular releases, I saw this thing called Galactic Empire. And I'm like, wait, what is this? Because it, the logo for it is, you know, a giant planet and stars and it's, you know, the Star Wars logo lettering type with Galactic Empire on it. Um, come to find out, it is a Star Wars metal band, a Star Wars metal album. There's 11 tracks on this thing. They do meet, they do, they basically take the John Williams music and put it to metal. Um, they've done, these 11 tracks are from all six films. All six of, you know, all, all the prequels, all, all the originals. And to get some of the information out of the way, I will put the Facebook links and everything else and their website into, into the show notes, but... The band members include Boba Set, who is the drummer, the bass commander, who is the bass player, Dark Vader, who is the lead guitar, Shadow Ranger, the other guitar, and the Red Guard, who is the third guitar. Um, I listened to some of the previews on this beforehand, and oh, I fell in love. This is amazing. I have been listening to this, folks, 24-7. I'll listen to this stuff when I go to... I'll, I'll have this on my computer and go in the other room and, and into the bedroom and, and go to sleep to this. I just love this music. Um, what did you think of it when you first heard it? <laughs> um, I thought it was interesting. Mm -hmm. um, to be honest, not really uh, sure what I thought. <laughs> um, not really sure what it was supposed to be be either <laughs> well it's okay so um, you, and, I, I, and I get that it's it's mm -hmm. a, a Star Wars soundtrack knockoff um, it's with more of a tribute than a knockoff but okay well, yeah I got more of a uh, uh, like Power Rangers theme song vibe <laughs> to it than I did um, it, it, it's like you took the Power Rangers aesthetics to their theme songs and then you put Star Wars music hmm. and then punk metal and then you have this alrighty then um, 
So this, as I said, is comprised of 11 tracks. Uh, we have the main theme, the Imperial March, Duel of the Fates, the Force theme, the Asteroid Field, Battle of the Heroes, Cantina Band, Ben's Death slash TIE Fighter Attack, Across the Stars, the Forest Battle, and the Throne Room slash End Title. Um, so my favorite out of this is Cantina Band, because... We've heard the Cantina Band. Obviously, that's from Return of the Jedi. That's from Jabba's Palace. Um, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's right. I don't remember off the top of my head. But anyway, it's one of those things where it's music that I know of from these movies. And hearing it metalized is just really cool to me. Like, I love the riffs that they use in, in Cantina Band. I love how they, on the main theme, kind of start out not really doing the John Williams. It is the John Williams theme, but it's not in that tempo because it's, it's, it's hard guitar riffs to it, and I just absolutely love it. Um, the Force theme is also a favorite. Um, I just think this is so cool. And they actually have, and I'll put this in, in the show notes here, folks, they actually have a YouTube video or a Facebook video or whatever uh, <laughs> of one of these performances live, and it is so cool. It's basically just a huge Star Wars show, and it's just so fun. Just absolutely love it. <laughs> what? Nothing. Just, what? You're, you're talking about the, the interesting aspects of the uh, seeing them play live. Mm-hmm. I don't know if like I don't know I don't know if I would see it live and I don't mean that as a knock for the band but, right because I mean obviously it takes a lot of talent to redo mm-hmm. um, the famous soundtracks mm-hmm. um, but I think this is one of those things that's better lived on my mp3 player <laughs> yeah I'm just saying that or the YouTube's yeah, I'm just saying that there is a YouTube video out there, a Facebook video, whichever it is. I forget which one it is, but, you know, there is a a video out there of them performing this stuff live. And what I mean about the interesting aspects about the live portion of it is they dress up in the Star Wars costumes for their for their characters, for each of the band members. So what I mean about it being interesting is seeing a stormtrooper wail on a guitar... <laughs> You know, you know they do have a Star Trek or not a Star Trek uh, Transformers rock band too. Yep, that they dress up as robots. Yep. Um, this, like, I'm listening to like the Asteroid Field, um, mm-hmm. and and a few others. Uh, depending on the amount of, uh, r- like, go- the guitar and like riffs and the amount of stuff in mm-hmm. the the middle of the songs, mm-hmm. kind of reminds me of. Um, when I used to play Guitar Hero, mm-hmm. uh, there was this love, this one particular. Now, mind you, I was terrible at the game, but this was like my favorite song to try and play because it was impossible. Mm-hmm. Um, it's Dragon Force through the fire and the flames. Okay, <laughs> and it's like it's like an eight minute song or something, mm-hmm. and it's like and it's like a lot of like what's in this. Mm-hmm. So it, it it's very reminiscent of that to me. Yeah, I mean, I actually had a plan a couple of years ago. I forget. I think it was either twenty it wasn't twenty fifteen. It was either twenty fourteen or twenty thirteen when we did um, we did a special December. Well, whenever Force Awakens came out, I guess. So that was what twenty. Yeah, that was twenty fifteen. I don't know what I'm thinking here, folks. Yeah, twenty fifteen. We did a special on here at Geekcast Radio called Dark Side December, where we did all Star Wars themed stuff that month. And I was originally going to buy all of the Star Wars film soundtracks on iTunes at the time. Didn't get to do that. I eventually want to do that, hopefully this year maybe. But I mean, this has just kind of reinvigorated my, my love of the Star Wars music. And again... I've heard, you know, we, we've all heard Imperial March, we've all heard the main theme, we've all heard the end theme, we've all heard um, the Force theme, uh, but here's the thing, this is done 
differently. This is a different stuff. This is why I love when certain, like, you know, bands and things do various differences with this because you're getting the overall main version, but you're getting it with this, it's almost ramped up to 11 because it's, 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 it's metal. It's not just rock and roll, it's metal. Um, and I just absolutely really dig it. I mean, like I said, I, anytime, anytime I'm not listening to the radio in the morning, to the local morning shows, or anytime I'm not editing podcasts or watching stuff to review in podcasts, I'm listening to this. It is just absolutely fantastic. The yeah. only one that's like really strange to me is the Cantina Band. See, I love that. I love the beginning of it. Um, I love, just absolutely love the beginning of it. If I was going to pick a strange one for me, it would probably be Duel of the Fates, only because they still have the 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 vocal, the ah, oh, whatever the vocal is. And I know that's supposed to be in there because it was in the original song. But yeah, that, it was like the Phantom know. Menace. Yep. Well, yeah, Between that's when Obi Wan yeah, and or not not Obi Wan, uh, Qui Gon and I and Obi Wan. Uh, damn it, Qui Gon and Darth Maul. Yeah. Um, I like Across the Stars. Forest battle is a little weird. I know that's supposed to be the Endor forest battle scene, but that I don't know. That one's a little strange to me. Uh, Ben's death, the first part of Track Eight, Ben's death slash Tie Fighter attack. That's just epically sad as it's meant to be um just absolutely love that and the force theme and the main theme and and imperial march i mean again like i said it's it's all those themes that we know except they're you know done in metal style and it's just so friggin cool so what does everyone out there think of other bands doing something like this, like taking an original score and doing it in a different musical style. Um, sometimes I like it, sometimes I don't. Uh, there's a band out there, uh, they're called Vitamin String Quartet, and they do basically string versions of various things. Um, have you ever heard the song Dig by Incubus? I'm sure uh, I have. Okay, I'll, I'll have to send it to you later. But anyway... They did a, a string version of this, and it's basically an instrumental version, but it's with strings. And it's all strings instead of guitars and drums and bass. And I just absolutely love stuff like this because it just is so cool and so different to me. It's not just the normal stuff. I mean, the normal stuff is out there. We can go get the John Williams scores. Um, but Galactic Empire, you guys kicked it out of the park. Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. You're my only hope. Absolutely love this stuff from Galactic Empire. I would love to talk to one of these guys for an interview. Just to ask them the process and how they got, you know, how they came up with the idea to do this and everything else. Again, there's a video on their Facebook page of one of the one of the people giving them a giving us a tour of the studio and things like that. Um just very, very Im- most impressive, as Darth Vader would say. Most impressive, absolutely love it. Uh, so I think that's going to do it for this little special uh, altering Geekcast Radio episode. And again, as I said, let us know what you guys think of it. Um, if you've heard it, if you'd like to hear it, let us know. Um, anything you want to say before we get the heck out of here? Um, nah. The Force will be with you. Always. Sometimes. We're going to go hit the ludicrous speed and and get the heck out of here. Back to a galaxy far, far away. Use the Schwartz. Use the Schwartz. Yes, Master Yogurt. He got the up Schwartz, you got the down Schwartz. (laughs) Impressive. Most impressive.